Okay, so we're, uh, this will be phase three. What, what the hell does an LTO test station look like, you know? Yeah, right. So uh, we've been doing this for 30 years and uh, we sort of get the idea how to set things up. So I'm just going to go over kind of quickly what we have. Um, a laptop is set up over here. We're going to use this for a demo later. And what we do is we use a null modem cable and we hook up to the GUI interface on an autoloader so that we can uh, ensure that the customer can remotely manage it. We can look at different kinds of things that it's doing. So we have the laptop set up here for that. The other thing we have is um, we do a lot of work through the serial port and some of this information is kind of proprietary how we do. But anyways, we've got about a 42 page manual with all kinds of commands that do that we can do a lot of things with the serial port. We can look at the individual data channels to see if there's an open channel. We can reset parameters. There's a whole lot of things that we can do in here. We can take a data tape and make it a cleaning tape. We can take a cleaning tape that's expired and we can reset it back to zero to use it again because they're good for three, four hundred cleanings. And, and we do that in a lab a lot. Again, a proprietary cable that uh, plugs into the tape drive and then plugs into a USB device and it goes through some special software and it gives us a chance to do some uh, uh, work on the tape drives that normal users can't access. Another thing that we have is a, uh, another proprietary device that will cost you an arm and a leg. But what this thing does, it allows us to rapidly install and realign heads on LTO tape drives. So we do that uh, quite frequently. We have a prototype version right now for HP as well for uh, installing those heads. So that uh, is not quite ready for production yet, but it, it, it's really close. The other thing that we have over here is that we have a stereo microscope. And what we do, you can see that we have a cover off of the LTO tape drive. It sits in this little jig here. And uh, it sits underneath the microscope. And we can look at the head and see how dirty it is. Now you say, well, Dan, why do you have a 99 cent flashlight? Why don't you just get a light for your microscope? Well, it doesn't work that way. We can move the light around and see different kinds of things that you can't with a fixed light. Okay, so different angles on it. So we've got it hanging here, it looks a little tacky, but it works just fine. This particular drive, uh, the manufacturer's IBM. The owner of the drive decided that he would use not IBM Media because it's recommended to use IBM Media, but he got a better deal on some other kind of media, all right? So when we pulled this apart, you can see the, a debris buildup, okay? And this debris has been peeled off the surface of the media uh, because he didn't use IBM Media, and it's deposited here. And you can see with my finger, it's dirty. Now, a smoke particle is eight microns. The spacing between the head and the data elements is two microns. So you've got this stuff floating around inside the drive. It's contaminated the head. And as soon as that accumulates enough, it'll end up puncturing the data channels. Now, Rich took a nice picture of the head out of here. because it's kind of difficult for you to see. But the head is oriented this way, okay? So what you have is the top of the head on the top. The tape moves across the head from the left to the right on individual passes. It's kind of hard to see in here, but buried in here are two servo tracks and 14 data channels. And this is only a half inch wide uh, piece of media. Now, this dark stuff over here has been peeled off the media in a process called stiction. It, it takes the surface of the media off because this media was not recommended by IBM. So you can see this deposited all over here. And these are actually flakes, okay? When you look at the head, this is like dust. But trust me, those flakes are huge compared to the two micron spacing. When you fill up these data channels continually with this material, you're going to puncture a data channel and uh, the head's toast after that. 
So I hope that kind of, uh, the other thing, uh, back to the station, I just missed out on this, is that when we test the LTO drives, you have to keep them cool because they don't like to be hot. Uh, you saw that on the, the media keeps track of it and it says, you know, on that one there, it's the highest was 37 degrees. But on small drives that we're only doing a short test on, we just run this small fan here. We elevate the drive, put it on the fan and test it. If we're doing a full write, we need to really use a lot of CMF. So this fan goes on, it's kind of loud, but at least we can really cool that drive because the LTO drives have a thermal shutdown in them too. So I hope that helps out. If you have any other questions, uh, reach, reach out to us on YouTube and we'll see if we can uh, uh, answer them for you. So thank you for your time.